let me apologize in advance. I've never done one of these uh, screen capture tutorials. It's my first one. Hope it's not too uh, long and boring. There's a few places where I tweak parameters on and on, and I've put up a little bubble, so feel free to either uh, skip those, or if you want to see what I'm tweaking, your choice. I'm on uh, version 7.1. Basically, I've got a timeline here, which has some voiceover, some dialogue, clips from shows, and some music. It's Seriously Funny Thursdays on Axis TV. Yeah. First, it's Seriously Funny Gene. That sort of thing. And if you'll notice, I've got all my narration here on track one. I've got my clips on tracks two and three and my music on track four. So the first thing I'm going to do is select all my tracks, all my audio clips rather. Go to Clip, Audio Options, Audio Gain. You can set up a shortcut for that. And I'm going to normalize all peaks to zero. As opposed to normalize max peak, that will normalize them all together to zero, whereas normalize all peaks will normalize each clip individually. So I want to get the maximum output from each clip without uh, peaking, or without, without going too hot. Next thing I'm going to do is open up my audio track mixer. And keep in mind there's two kinds of mixers in Premiere. There's the audio clip mixer, which will show you the level or pan for whatever clip you happen to be over. So each one of these clips in the timeline has its own levels which will show up here in the clip mixer. We don't want that. We want the audio track mixer. And if you're opening it for the first time, you might not get these gray bars up here, so you want to click on this little arrow and expand your effects slots and so forth. That way we can add effects to entire tracks rather than individual clips. Now, since I've got two tracks here with uh, VO, uh, sorry, with dialogue, I don't want to put the same effect twice on each of the two tracks. So I'm going to create a submix track for those two. You can create as many submix tracks as you want. If I had, let's say, two narration tracks, I could create a narration submix track and send them both down to that. But in this case, I've only got two uh, dialogue tracks. So I'm going to go to sequence, add tracks, and I'm going to add one submix track. That will then show up down here in my timeline, submix one, and I'm going to rename it up here in the track mixer to dialogue. See the name changes down here as well. And then I'm going to take my two dialogue tracks, which are A2 and A3, up here in my track mixer, and I'm going to use this, which is the track, what is it, track output assignment. I'm going to I'm going to assign track 2 to dialogue, track 3 to dialogue, and the other two tracks I'm using, A1 and A4, are still going to master. That means they will go out to this last track here, which is the master track. Now, the key to getting good audio is basically two really good uh, plugins that come with Premiere. The first one I'm going to throw on to my narration track. If I go up here into the slot, uh, effects slots, I'm going to go and choose Amplitude and Compression Multiband Compressor. And in order to tweak the settings in that effect, I'm going to just double click on that. And uh, the presets, you've got a bunch of presets here. Broadcast is a good one to start with. You can tweak this stuff afterwards. I haven't found a way to save my own presets, which is kind of annoying. And this little F here basically enables or disables whichever uh, effect you've got selected up here. So if I click on that F, it has a line through it, now it means it's disabled. You can also do it from this little on-off switch on the uh, on the plug-in uh, window. So this is what it sounds like, and also I'm going to solo uh, the narration track. It's Seriously Funny Thursdays on Axis TV. That's what it sounds like, clean. And if I turn on this effect, just without even tweaking it. It's Seriously Funny Thursdays on Axis TV. It already sounds better. Uh, it basically compresses it, it, evens out the level, and boosts uh, some of the frequencies. Uh, I'm going to set an in and out here just so I can tweak it a little bit. And then uh, turn on looping, which I have assigned as a control L. I recommend go into your keyboard shortcuts, type in loop, 
and uh, pick a shortcut for loop in uh, all these places here in your audio track mixer, in your program panel, source monitor. Give it a shortcut. Then I can turn on looping and it'll... It's Seriously Funny Thursdays on Access TV. It's serious... It'll just loop over and over while I tweak my uh, EQ here. Seriously Funny Thursdays on Access TV. It's 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 Seriously Seriously Funny Thursdays on Access TV. It's Seriously Funny Thursdays on Access TV. It's Seriously Funny Thursdays on Access TV. It's Seriously Funny Thursdays on Access TV. So there you can see uh, you can really get more bass out of the voice. You can play with your, uh, you can slide these little uh, frequency crossover bars that determine where each particular level here is affecting. You can play with your thresholds, your gains, your ratios. You probably know this if you've ever used a compressor. This is just a really nice multi-blend compressor that uh, sounds really good out of the gate. So uh, again, without the effect... It's Seriously Funny Thursdays on Axis TV. And with the effect... It's Seriously Funny Thursdays on Axis TV. Pretty good. Don't worry about the levels yet. Just get it sounding good. We can close that out. Now let's go over here to the uh, dialogue. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, since I've patched these two tracks, A2 and A3, to my dialogue submix, I don't want to put the effect here on the individual tracks. I want to put it on the submix track here. So again, amplitude and compression, multi band compressor. Okay, and then I double click on it. That's Tom Green. <laughs> this is live. So I want to, that's definitely a bit tinny. Let's try to get some more bass out of there. That's Tom Green. <laughs> this is live. 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 That's Tom Green. 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 This is live. All right, that's a bit better. Green. This is live. Original. Hey, this is live. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's turn off these solos. And the music in general, this is, uh, you know, I don't touch the music because it's usually pretty well uh, EQ'd and compressed uh, off the source, but you could throw a compressor on there if it's got a lot of dynamics. Let's leave it for now. Live. That's so. It's Seriously Funny Thursdays on Access TV. Yeah. Now we want to get the levels roughly better, uh, you know, to be perfect. It's but Seriously Funny I'm going to do that up here in my track mixer, which is going to adjust the entire track rather than doing individual clips. Thursday is on Access TV. Yeah. First it... TV. Yeah. First it's Seriously Funny Gene with Gene Simmons Family Jewels. Maybe, maybe the music will be a little hotter. Genius. And it's serious. Live. That's Tom Green. This is live. And it's Seriously Funny Stand Up with Gotham. Of Comedy Live. Oh, seriously Funny Thursday. It's Seriously Funny. Tom Green Live. That's Tom Green. This is live. And it's Seriously Live. Oh, seriously Funny Thursday. And of course, if individual clips, uh, you know, these uh, dialogue clips are from different sources, so you can see I've got clip volumes on each one of them. Try and get them roughly in the same ballpark. And then uh, finally, the secret sauce, which really makes everything sound really good. If we go into our track mixer, 
go into the master track, go up here into the effect selection and choose special mastering. Double click on it. And this is really a great plugin. Um, again, it's got a bunch of presets. I don't think any of them are uh, very good. So I use a subtle clarity as a starting point. Then I turn on my turn on these low shelf and high shelf. Um, you could, it's got reverb in it. You probably don't usually want that. I turn that down. The exciter adds kind of a crispiness. The widener, I'm not sure, I think it's stereo widening. Uh, I don't really hear much of a difference. And then this loudness maximizer is kind of another layer of compression, which um, works really well. I crank that up quite a bit. And output gain is just a uh, general gain, which will be applied before the slider f of the volume for that master track. Um, so again... It's Seriously Funny Thursdays on Axis TV. That's with it on and again with it off. It's Seriously Funny Thursdays on Axis TV. It's Seriously Funny Thursdays on Axis TV. Yeah. First, it's Seriously Funny Gene with Gene Simmons Family Jewel. Soak up this genius. Genius. Then it's Seriously Funny Tom with Tom Green Live. That's Tom Green. <laughs> this is live. And it's Seriously Funny Stand Up with Gotham Comedy Live. <laughs> Seriously Funny Thursday, starting at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, only on Axis TV. So as you can see, basically I uh, just bring up the bass a little bit, find where the uh, narration is lying, bring up the mid-range uh, mid for that a bit, and uh, add a little crispiness over here. Play around a bit, and you should get very good results.